Hi, James here from Wiggle, and today you can see I'm surrounded by this pretty vast bike bag selection from Brooks, and they call it the Scape Collection. And there's some really cool features that I haven't seen in bike luggage bags before, as well as it being a really modular system, so different bags work with other bags for different scenarios that you want to go out from. And this new 10 bag collection basically covers you from short day rides to everything from cycling around the world, basically. So let's have a look at each bag and see what it has to offer. So as it's such a big 10 bag collection, we're gonna work our way up from the smaller bags that you're gonna use for most probably your shorter day trips, and then work up to the big panniers that you'd use for those round the world trips later on. So first of all, it's worth mentioning that the whole range just comes in one color, and that's what Brooks call this mud colorway. And although I always thought mud was brown, it comes in this kind of dark muted green color, which I really like, and I don't think it's gonna clash with too many bike colors, so it's gonna work for most of us out there. And I don't think this color's gonna show up the dirt when they obviously get dirty, which they're going to, so that's a little bonus to keep us looking a little bit fresher. It's also got this really nice material that runs across the whole range as well, and it's kind of like this nylon weave that looks really classy and top end. And then when you look inside, you can see that it's definitely gonna be super, super water resistant, so there's no chance of your luggage getting wet and everything comes with really good tape seams, so there really isn't any chance of any of your luggage getting wet. Another nice little touch across the whole range is that all the Brooks logos that you see on every bag that are nice and subtle, which I like in its own right, are reflective, so they're gonna make you that little bit more visible when cycling at night. So bag number one, this is the Scape handlebar pouch, and I think this one's gonna be one of the most popular ones across the range because it's that bag that you'd use on a day trip and it's gonna be versatile to use in a lot of situations. So it comes with the reflective logo, like I said on the front, and a waterproof coated YKK zip that you can see there with a protective flap that covers it too. So that's obviously gonna keep all your contents nice and dry. So as with the whole range, you're gonna see a lot of continuity as everything fits together really nicely and looks as one basically. So it comes with these nice aluminum buckles that you fasten it to your handlebars with. It comes with these foam spaces too if you're running quite a busy cable system at the front of your bike. And you might not need to use them at all, but it can just help give your cables a little bit more room to breathe so they can carry on functioning properly. It also comes with a rear adjustable Velcro loop to attach it to your head tube to stop the bag from rattling so much when you're going over rough terrain. And it also comes with this nice little front daisy chain which basically you can attach whatever you want to, but it's gonna be ideal for a nice little visible front light there. The whole bag has a three litre capacity and is 250 mil wide by 120 mil in diameter at the end there. So even this bag alone is gonna be enough to carry most of your essentials for those short day trips out. One thing I've noticed with a lot of these style of bar bag is they look really good in the product pictures, but when you get them at home, they're really flimsy and they just don't hold their shape well. But what Brooks have done is they've added these little foam circles at the end there that really help retain the shape. But I've got to say even without them, because it's made uh, this nice higher material and it's got those nice welded seams it really keeps its shape pretty nicely anyway and the last thing to mention with this bar bag is it comes with these two little modular loops on either end here and that allows for this little chappy the saddle pocket bag which we'll have a little look at in a minute to fit to either end so you could have either one or two which just gives you that little bit more modulation and space for different things that you want to carry Okay, so as we've just mentioned it, we'll have a look at this little guy, and this is the saddle pocket bag. And this is probably the most modular little unit in the whole collection. So I'll be getting this little guy out quite a lot throughout the video and showing you all the different places where you can mount it on. So this little 0.7 litre bag comes with the reflective logo like they all do. And with this Velcro strap, it can just be attached directly to the back of your saddle to make it a small little saddle bag, which is just gonna make it a really small functional bag for those punch repair kits and stuff like that. So it's 150 by 55 by 80 mil. It's fully waterproof and weighs in at just 70 grams. So just to show you how modular this little guy is, you just undo the Velcro strap. And basically wherever you see one of these loopholes is basically shows it's one of the modular system units. So you can install this guy. So you just run the Velcro strap through, pull it through like I'm doing a bad job at now, run it back through the loop. And basically, although you might want to do it up a bit tighter, that's your modular system, so you could have one on that side and then one on the other side as well. So now we'll have a look at the saddle roll bag, and this is a pretty self-explanatory little one. And it comes in with a litre capacity, so it just gives you that little bit more than the little pocket bag that we talked about a second ago. It simply attaches to your saddle rails with the two clips at the back there. And a nice little touch is it comes with this little clip here, so you can pull it nice and tight close to your saddle so it's not going to wobble around. 
and then lock it in place and then it won't work itself loose over a longer bumpy ride which can be quite annoying. And then obviously the nice thing about it is if you don't have much in it, you can roll it up more to make it a more compact bag. But then if you've actually got a few more bits that you want to take with you, you can roll it out and it actually gives you quite a large capacity bag there. So this actually stretches out to being 32 centimetres long, so it can be quite useful for getting those longer items in, like a pump for example, but that's going to be a really nice little companion for those shorter day trips out the house as well. Now we'll have a look at the 0.9 litre top tube bag. This is, as we all know, a super versatile little bag that gives you really good accessibility to stuff you need on the fly. So this is going to be really practical from everything from those short day trips all the way to those multi-day tours. It's a nice stable bag and comes with some really good kind of structure to it. It attaches to your bike via these Velcro straps, which even in their own right are just really nicely made. And they have a nice grippy rubber backing that should help them keep their place. But I'd still definitely wrap my frame in heli tape on these contact points to stop from that long term scratching. And it's 210 long by 110 high by 40 wide. And as I said before, it's got that 0.9 litre capacity. So that is the top tube bag. And now let's have a look at what's probably going to be another one of the favourites is the frame bag. So first thing to consider is that this is actually 460mm long, so if you've got a really small frame it might not actually fit, but I think it's going to basically fit most of the frames out there. It attaches with the same velcro straps that we saw on the top tube bag, and it even has two extra loop holes at the top and at the front to entwine it in with the bar bag and the top tube bag to keep everything locked in place. So the bag comes with two compartments and two different zips to access them on either side. So it comes with a waterproof zipper like we saw on the bar bag. And then on the other side, it comes with this toothless zipper, which gives a really smooth action to access a smaller pocket on this side. So this smooth action toothless zipper gives you access to the smaller pocket, which is going to be perfect for keeping those more easy access items that are going to be of high value that you want to keep dry and away from dirt maybe in the other compartment. So it's going to be really good for keeping your phone, your passport and, and money and stuff like that. And then when we look at the other side, it's got that more traditional waterproof zip with that protective flap. And that's just got the bigger three litre compartment in there. And this bigger main pocket also comes with a small little sleeve zip pocket inside for keeping things separate again, which is really quite handy. And then if you want to run a cable or something from one side to the other, so you might have got a big battery in this side, but you want to charge your phone in the smaller pocket, it comes with a tiny little membrane hole here that you can run a cable through so it makes things like that possible too. It also comes with the same ziplock front that we saw on the top tube bag if you want to run a battery from here out to anywhere on the bike to charge anything important. So as I said before it's 460 long by 120 deep by 60 wide so it's, it's nice and narrow so it shouldn't get in the way of your legs when you're cycling. It weighs 200 grams and the capacity is 3 litres which seems quite interesting because that's the same capacity as we had in the bar bag but it's just I guess a different shape but it just seems like that would take more than three litres but that's just a mind trick I suppose. Okay so that's all the smaller size bags let's have a look at some of the medium sized bags that you'd use on a multi-day tour. So here they are here we've got the medium sized bags that aren't part of the pannier system. So firstly we'll have a look at the handlebar roll bag and this is going to be the perfect companion for hardcore adventure cycling. It's IPX4 waterproof certified so this is going to be super waterproof to keep all your stuff dry and it's got a few really nice nifty features that are going to make it really handy for those multi-day tours. Okay so firstly it attaches to the bars of your bike exactly the same as the smaller bar bag did that we spoke about before and then if you want even more room you can actually attach the smaller bar bag to the top of this to give you even more room and areas of space and another option as well is if you've got one or two of the smaller pocket bags, you can either strap one or two onto there as well. So to access this 12 litre dry bag, you just have to unhook these aluminium clips up at the top here, and then that just releases the whole bag itself. The inner of the harness has this grippy, rubbery textile finish here, which is gonna be really handy and stop the dry bag from sliding one way or the other, which is a really nice touch. But the dry bag itself actually has a really nice function that I'm gonna show you now. So firstly, you'll notice the dry bag has access from both ends, so if we unclip one of these ends and unroll it. You can see it's actually got a full length membrane that actually separates one side from the other. 
So the benefit to this being is that everything that you put in one end is going to be kept completely separate from everything at the other end. So as an example, you could put everything wet and dirty in one end and everything dry and clean in the other. And they've designed this well as the inner membrane is actually as long as the whole bag itself. And this is going to allow you to have varying volumes of stuff in either side, but it's always going to allow the bag to be equally weighted. And if you, if, and if you thought it was going to be hard to remember which end was which, then they've given you three dots on one end just so you can remember in your head which end is which. So as I said before, the bag's got a capacity of about 12 litres and a max load of 5 kilograms. And when it's fully packed out and rolled out, it goes up to a width of about 45 centimetres, which is going to be about as big as you possibly can do without it being too big to fit in between your bars. I've always really liked the quick release dry bag system as I think it's just a really easy way just to take the luggage off your bike and set up camp. As if you've got an integrated system, it can just be really annoying having to set everything back up on the bike when you set sail again. So that's all the main functions on the handlebar roll. And now let's have a look at the larger seat bag, which is probably one of my favorite bags in the collection as it's just got so many nice little touches included. So firstly, it's got about an eight litre maximum capacity and it rolls out from everything from 40 centimetres all the way up to 60 centimetres when it's fully rolled out. It weighs 500 grams and has a max load of three kilograms, but I'm sure you wouldn't want to reach that as you wouldn't want to have that much weight flapping around on the back of your saddle. So this big bag actually attaches to your bike exactly the same as the tiny small one. So it attaches to the seat post here via these two Velcro straps and then to your saddle rails via these two clips here. As you can imagine, when this thing is fitted to the bike, it's gonna act as a pretty impressive mudguard too. And they've thought about this as they've added this big TPU section here, which is just gonna take all the beating from stuff being chucked up from your rear tire. So as with the roll bar bag, it works on the removable dry bag system, which as I said, I really like because you can take stuff off your bike and add it back on really quickly. And it's as easy as unclipping this aluminium buckle, running it through the back of the loop there, and then the dry bag just separates out just like that. As you can see, it's really similar to what we saw on the handlebar bag, but it's just shaped to fit in the caddy on the back there better. And as it's only single-ended, it only has the one compartment, not the two like we saw in the handlebar roll bag, but it has its own little nifty feature. And it's got this valve here that you can open and close, so you can really compress the bag down to its smallest size, lock it off, and then you've got the smallest volume bag to have on the back of your bike. And then it's super quick and easy to install back on the bike. So you just slide it back into the caddy, run the strap through the back there so that the bag's actually fully attached and then just loop it back through and you're ready to go again. It's got a little daisy chain that runs along the top too so you can attach all sorts to that. And obviously if you've got one of these and you need a little bit more room, you can attach him to the top too. And finally, if you're riding in wet weather, they've added a small little hole into the lowest point of the caddy here so that all the water will just drain out and you won't get any cloggy water build up in the bottom there. So now we've covered all the smaller and medium sized Velcro bags, let's have a look at the clip-on pannier system stuff. And just like that, here they are. So this is all the clip-on and pannier bags. So we'll start by having a look at the compact handlebar bag. So this 10 litre click fit bar bag is gonna be just at home on those long distance tours or just commuting in the city. It works on that well-known click fix system. So it's really quick and easy to remove it on and off from your bars. So for when it's off the bike, it's got a nice carry handle and then it's got a waterproof zip like we've seen along with the other bags in the range with a nice little sleeve in there for smaller items with easy access. Then the easiest way to get into the main big compartment is actually to fold this section back and then undo the zip all the way around and it gives you a nice big access into the main compartment. You've got two stretch bucket nets in there and then a little zipped off area for keeping little bits and bobs and then a 13 inch neoprene protected laptop sleeve as well. The bag also comes with this detachable shoulder strap that just makes it easier to carry when you're not on the bike. And then finally, the bag comes with these two pull straps at the bottom here that can be useful for multiple reasons. So you can store longer things through there and clamp them shut. And then if you've ever ridden with a bag half full or half empty, I guess you could say, is that everything bounces around in there when you're riding. So you can pull these down to reduce the volume of the bag and stop everything from bouncing around, which is a nice touch. So that's the compact handlebar bag. Now let's have a look at the pannier bags. So the new Scape range comes with two different pannier options 
and they're both exactly the same apart from they just come in two different volume sizes. The small one comes in at 10 to 13 litres and the larger volume one comes in at 18 to 22. So just for the purpose of the video, we're gonna have a look at the small one because they're both identical minus that. So firstly, if you spin it around to the back, you can see it comes with the aluminium click fix attachment. And as we all know, that's a really tried and tested system that works really well. It then comes with some reflective detailing on either side, which is nice to see, which is just gonna help you be seen at night. Then like with the other bags, it comes with this waterproof zip that has a quick access sleeve in there for items that you need to get out easily. And then to access the main bag, it runs on the roll system, so you unclick these two aluminium buckles. And then the top just rolls up. It's got a small little Velcro attachment, and then you can access everything inside. And then as always, it's got a little daisy chain running down inside those reflective tabs, so you can attach one or two of these little guys to either side if you want to too. So that's a quick overview of the new Brooks Scarp luggage range. Well, actually, probably not so quick. Let us know what you think to it all and what combination you'll be using for your next bikepacking adventure. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.